Hello, welcome back my sweet chickadees. I am glad to be here today with you. I hope everyone is doing well. I have a really fun project today. We are going to create something with Digital Collage Club's wonderful images. And I'm starting off, what I did for the sake of time was I just gessoed this. This is a canvas. I purchased this at Michael and it is a five by seven well actually here's the it's an artist loft five by seven here and I gessoed it with white gesso just to kind of give it a base and I'm going to use this as my foundation and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do it step by step with you because I thought it was a, a really fun project I uh, was thinking about and it is going to be a Halloween theme and what I want to do is firstly kind of measure this out and I kind of eyeball it I mean I could measure it five by seven but I really don't want it five by seven because I'm going to tear around the edges and it doesn't have to be exact because it's not going to be exact by the time I get done with it so what we're going to do is firstly locate my scissors okay so here's my scissors and I'm just gonna cut where I made my marks and again nothing has to be exact because I want to distress it and it doesn't matter by the time we're done so I have this um, decal ruler and it's a rip ruler so the paper is going to rip to the image that you see on either side and I'm going to use this one so I'm going to lay it down because I want the tearing to come towards me and not away from me so I'm just going to hold it and then just start ripping This ruler is made by Westcott, W-E-S-T-C-O-T-T. -T. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's white on white, but I'll show you when I'm done. And I try to keep it as straight as I can because you don't want it lopsided, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And this is some really cute Halloween paper, and it's got some words on it that says ghosts, bats, witches, spooky. And it's a very small print, and that's what I was looking for to use that as my background. So we're almost done here ripping. Okay. Okay, so you see how it gave that tear look and see there's a little white edge on it. I don't like that white edge. If you tear towards you, you'll see the white. If you tear away from you, then you'll get a solid tear of the color paper, which is orange. So, okay, we don't need that. And this is the paper. If you can see, it's got these little, little tiny um, words in it, costume, bubbly, trick or treat. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is distress the edges. You know me, I'm going to distress it. Let's take off that little piece that's hanging. Take our it's part of the sponge coming off. I'm going to take our canvas and put this down. And so I want it to look just about that way. <clears throat> okay. 
And then here, I think what I want to do is eventually distress. So I don't want it too dark. So we're just going to kind of not go all the way on the actual. I only want the top and the bottom because the paper is going to cover it. And then we can do the rest later, but <clears throat> excuse me, before I lay it down, I want to make sure I get where the paper is going to be placed and then have the perimeter showing and have that distressed. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply glue that down. I'm going to use my white glue because that's going to give a stronger hold since we're going to be, I mean, we could use hot glue, but since it's going to be flat, I want a smoother like surface of the glue to go down. Cause sometimes when you use hot glue, it'll get bumpy underneath your paper. Okay. So we're going to put that down. So now that's our background. And then what I would like to do is, this is some dictionary paper. I'm just going to rip it. And I don't want any straight edge. I want everything to look distressed, ripped, old. So I'm just going to rip that apart. And see now that side I don't like that because that's straight. So I'm going to rip that off. And I think we're going to just rip that there and I'm just going to do different and I don't know yet what I want to do with placement but I do know I want pieces of this so I'm going to just rip pieces off where I want to lay things down and kind of eyeball it and see I want it. I'm kind of thinking out loud, so I'm sorry if I don't make sense right away. Okay. So, let me put that up there. I want something longer. I don't like that. Okay. Then, what I'm going to use is I have this frame. Purchased this at Michael's. I ripped the back off and I want to use it because it had a back where you, you know you can stand it and it had like that little wing thing that comes out but um, <clears throat> I want to use one of the images from Digital Collage Club and here's this sweet little boy. I want to make sure I'm in camera and it says trick or treat and he's got a little cat and a pumpkin 25 cents. Oh he's just so sweet so what I wanted to do is put him around the edge. I printed it off so it had enough room to go around the edge and fit into this frame. So I think what I'm going to do is just lay the glue down right along the edge of the window of where it's going to show through. First, I'm going to rip this off. That would help. Ooh. Okay. Alrighty. And then we're going to lay this down on top of it and center it so we have our placement. should stick right to the glue. I don't want that glue coming out. So I'm going to smear that with my finger. 
It's not so blobby. Get a baby wipe. I don't like how it came out on the bottom there. Let's replace that now. There we go. Okay. So now we have that in there. Isn't it cute? And what I want to do with this before I do anything else is, and this is just, you can use stuff that you have laying around the house. This was a piece of gauze I had. It was just a bunch of gauze that I had in a plastic bag. And I liked the texture to it. So I started to pull it apart. And when I pulled it apart, I realized it shreds. And then I wanted it to shred more. See, so as you pull it, you see how it kind of gets like, kind of like webby. I want it to look like a spider web. So then I decided I want to kind of make it more textured. So I have this little wire brush and I kind of just started going like this to it. And you see how it distresses it and it makes that cotton separate and pull apart. And so I kind of just destroyed it like that. Destroyed it and distressed it to make it look sort of webby. Okay. I want to do that at least to this piece because I don't know how much I'm going to use. And then, well, you know what? We'll do more. So now I'm going to rip off. I just want like strands of it. I don't want a big piece. So I'm kind of like ripping on the edge and see how that kind of makes it look like a cobweb, right? And then I'm gonna just distress it with my dauber, black ink. And I don't want it too black, because cobwebs are, you know, white, and then if they have dust on it, they kind of look like gray. So, I did that on this one here. And you can twirl it. You could do anything with it. It's pretty flexible. And then I'm, what I was thinking is, since there's holes in the frame, I'm going to try to stick that through there so it looks like cobwebs are hanging on the frame. And kind of weave it in and out. Through the holes. Like wrap it around. If I put it behind it. Now it looks better over it. And then I could put it through this way. Definitely need like a pokey tool or your scissors to get it through. And kind of just like put that in there. Isn't that cute? And so now I'm going to take this piece that we created together and roll it. It through. Well, that one went right through. That one's cooperative. And then I can put that through that hole again. Isn't that cool? And then we'll do this. Let's roll it a little bit. <clears throat> That was smart. I pulled it right through. Okay. And there we go. 
and I'm just going to do like the top of it because we don't really, well we could do a little bit on the bottom if we wanted to. I think I'm just going to do the top. Do another little piece. Pull it over that. I don't like that, so we're not going to do that. Let's see, maybe stick it over here. And what if we pull it? Kind of make it look webby. There we go. Okay, I like that better. And now, the next step is what I want to do. Eventually, this is going to go on here. But not ready to do that yet. What I'd like to do is I'm going to get some um, gel medium and I need a brush. We'll use this one. And I just want to put this down with the gel medium. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Let's move this down a little bit. And then what I want to do is I have some really pretty lace. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay. And I want to put some lace. On here. Alright. Let's get that down and then we're going to distress that because we don't want that so blurringly white. Alright. Then we're going to take this lace. And I want to see what that looks like, this. Yeah, I like how that looks. Okay. So then, I know I had another little piece. Oh, here it is. Okay. I want this. So I think what I'm going to do now is, now that I, like, that's what I saw in my head, but I didn't put it down, and I don't want to glue anything down until I do what I see in my head with a temporary placement and you know see what it looks like because if I don't like it <clears throat> I don't want to glue it so I'm pretty satisfied with that and then we're just going to glue these down And then we'll distress the paper. I love, love, love this gel medium. It is like the best thing that has ever happened to the crafting world. My world. I just, I use it for everything. I actually went to um, an art store and I bought a huge, huge bottle of it because I just keep running through it. Okay, so that's good. That's all we're going to need now for that gel medium thus far. And then I'm going to just distress these. Ooh! 
Hey, that's not behaving. Okay. And tone down that white. Okay. You know, that little piece doesn't want to behave. Come on now. Do your job. All right. Now we're going to put on this lace. And then the lace. Okay, we're done with that brush. We don't need it. Now, what way does the lace go down? I think it goes down that way. And so we're going to cut it about here. And I want to cut that a little even. And that's going to go up there. And then I want to do one on the bottom. So let's cut that even. And so now we have to see how we can possibly glue this. And what I want to do is I want it to stick. And I don't want to use any kind of tape. Well, let's see if let's put that down. Yeah, that should work. I didn't know if the glue would come through the lace itself, but it's not. I mean, you can use like probably double-sided red adhesive tape. That may work. But I want to make sure it sticks. Okay. So I'm going to put that down there. Yeah, it doesn't come through. I was worried that it might come through the holes of the lace, but it doesn't. I'll do that for this one. <clears throat> Hard to believe Halloween is approaching in a few months or a month or two, depending on when I release this video. Okay. So I'll put that up there. All right. And I think what I'm going to do is just do a little dabbing down here to hold it in place. Okay, so now we have that. Then I'm going to put him on. Oh, doesn't he look sweet? Look at that little face. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, actually, you know what? I have my glue gun out. So what we're going to do is glue this down. Because this will definitely hold with the glue. And then for just a little bit of safety, I'm going to put some white glue down. Sometimes hot glue won't stick to plastic because it's porous. It's not porous. It's just, you know, in itself a flat surface. Like if you do hot glue with metal, I've never been successful with that because it's not a porous surface. So I always add glue for good measure. You don't want a disaster. Let's see, let's do a little dab right there. 
dab right there. Okay. And then I have this little, it says trick or treat. And I was thinking of sticking that there. And then I also have this little scallop that I've punched out. I placed it on the bottom and then I have, I think I'm going to do the number 31 for Halloween. And this is one of those Tim Holtz um, game pieces that he sells. And that red pops the red out in his cape. So let's glue that. And that glue should work well on paper. Stick that right in the middle. Here. What do you think? You think that looks better? No, I don't like the orange. Okay, so take that out. Put that there. And then I have... Let's see, I have these little bats I bought, I purchased. And I don't know if I'm going to use them, but we're going to try it. A little bat somewhere. Can't see it there. And I like them down here with this, kind of offsets it. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down. Actually, I'm gonna use a little hot glue on that. And then I've got Mr. Bat here. I'm gonna use this here. Okay. And then I was thinking, should I do more of our cobwebs? Let's roll it. stick it underneath it like that and then maybe we'll put some on top there we go I think that'll be good enough for the webs we could actually you know what would be cute kind of like put it over the corner stretch it and pull it Put it over the corner like that. And then use some white glue on the thicker edges to adhere it. Make sure all that sticks down. this part down here and if a little bit of the glue shows through that's okay because it's going to dry clear if it doesn't stick to your fingers first you don't need a lot but you need enough to tack it down and then I'm gonna take my 
scissors and kind of put that underneath it. Let's get a little bit more. I want this one like elongated. And then I'll distress it. I'm sure you just heard my air conditioner come on. Okay. So what if we just kind of hang it over the side like that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. We'll glue that down. And that. And not a lot of glue. You just kind of tap it and give it some glue in certain spots. It, it'll hold it nicely because it's so thin and it's so fragile. And there we go. So we have our sweet little boy, our images from Digital Collage Club. I will link her site below so you can go check out her wonderful website. And um, yeah, I mean, I really think it came out cute. Um, I don't know, I may put it in my shop. I really like it, so I may keep it as decor for my house. Not 100% yet on that, <laughs> but I um, really like how it came out. If you're watching, any questions, please contact me. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I um, want to thank everyone that has subscribed, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you. Bye.